I'm so happy to see you in person. It's amazing to yes. be able to touch, touch you. Touch you, yeah, you're real. Yeah, you're yeah. real. We were Zoom friends. Yes. Yeah, when you came on the show. And I, I thank you so much for, for, for being here. And congrats on the cover of Vogue, by the thank way. Thank you. Uh, uh, you know, I haven't actually um, touched a copy. You haven't touched it? No, I've just seen photos of it. This so is real. This is the incredible. first time you're doing this. Come on. Incredible. This is a big moment. A huge moment. Yeah. Um, the whole thing was just... You look gorgeous on the thank cover. You. Thank and you. Uh, I also like this. Is this uh, is your, is your dad? And uh, is that grandma? It is. That's yeah, look at that. Come on. They got to be in Vogue as well? How did they feel? Uh, well, my, my... I don't think my dad or my grandma understood what was happening. So my dad was like, you know, he came and then, you know, they put him in a suit and Ghana's really hot, so he was just like, ah, ah. Yeah. And um, at the end, you know, I was like, Dad, so, like, how, you know, how do you feel? It's Vogue, it's American Vogue. He was like, yeah, 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 you know, something different. <laughs> and, um, my, my... What? Yeah, You're so... in Vogue, yeah. Dad? But, but now that it's, like, on the internet, my dad is just, like, the whole of my village, Esikumar, where we're from. Yeah. The whole of the village is proud. My grandma also didn't really understand until they put on her dress, her Issa Miyake dress, they did her hair and her makeup, and she was like, oh, I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. <laughs> Saying it. It was very Come on. Yeah. Uh, I think the last time we spoke, uh, I May Destroy You was right coming out. It was brand new. Yes. Uh, you went on to uh, win two Emmys and a Peabody Award. <laughs> I mean, you, it was phenomenal. Thank you. You were phenomenal. It was phenomenal. Anyone, did anyone surprise you that were fans of the show? Yes. Well, loads, loads. So first it was the Emmys itself, and to just sit there and have so many people that I admire come up and say, well done. But then also the big moment was getting home to Atlanta, where I was filming Black Panther. And I entered my house, and there was a huge bouquet of white flowers, and the note said, proud of you, B, X, Beyonce. <laughs> Now, have you ever met Beyonce? I've never met Beyonce. I've never spoken to Beyonce. So for her to do that uh, was slightly insane. I've spent uh, my career sort of like paying homage to her, chewing gum dreams, um, chewing gum, sorry. There's a photo of Beyonce next to Jesus Christ that the central character prays to. Yeah. Uh, I've written articles about Beyonce for The Guardian, but I've never met her. So for her to do that meant a lot. And then she released Renaissance. It's fantastic. Which was an album and a half. It's and, unbelievable. Yes. And so I sent her a huge plant and said thank you. You sent her a plant? I did, yes. So you do kind of talk to each other through plants? Through plants, yeah. yeah. And just yeah. through the air, because I don't know how she got my address. Because she's Beyonce. Because she's, she's Beyonce. She's magic. God knows where you live. Yeah, she's a class act. There you go. Uh, good for you, Beyonce. I love that she did that. That's yeah, awesome. Uh, can we talk about Black Panther? Yeah. Uh, uh, congratulations. It's such a big movie. Are you so excited about this? I'm, I'm excited and humbled and overwhelmed. I think, um, obviously, Chadwick passed, and it meant that there was this sort of... Um, gaping hole and a lot of um, grief in the hearts of the cast, as well as joy. Yeah. So it just feels uh, that the emotions are complex. It's, it's not just, oh, I'm excited, I'm in Black Panther. It just feels weighty and... Uh, it's a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'm, I'm honoured, honoured to have been there to, to support the cast. In every article that I, I read about you, about this upcoming review, you said, I just want to set it straight, I'm not the next, yes. the new Black Panther. I'm not... Yes, I have to keep minimising expectations for the people that, like, love me. Yes. Minimize expectations about how much I'm in the movie. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I'm yeah. there, I'm there, you're but I'm not, there. like, ah, I'm panthering. OK, you're not doing that. No, no, you're not panthering. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're not panthering at all, no, yeah, no. 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 And you're here, yeah, but, but this is interesting. You auditioned for the first Black Panther. I did. And, and, and didn't get the part. Correct. I auditioned in, like, 2012, I think when I first left drama school. And it was a tape, you know, and it was uh, probably a very bad tape. I'd never been on TV. I had never been in any film. So I think I was probably one of, like, thousands of people uh, trying to get a part, I think, in the door. I think a part very similar to mine. To you, to you play. Like now, yeah. Yeah, you can say who you... Yeah, yeah, everyone knows that. 
Michael. Do they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then... There's Marvel people in the audience who are like, oh, don't yes, you say that. Yes, they're very full. Not don't on everything. End. Well, we're going to show a clip. Exactly. Yeah, now we're allowed, we're allowed to speak about it. Yeah. Yes, exactly. This is going to be big. Uh, I'm so happy to see you in person. You're just as cool as I thought you'd be. You too. Uh, oh, my gosh. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Michaela Cole in Black Panther, Wakanda forever. Take a look at this. <laughs> Should he give me this to try? You know, I like them better. Our foremothers gave us this beer because it is precise, elegant, and deadly. It will not change under my watch. Yes, General. I told you not to bring them. Oh, come on! Michaela Cole, everybody! Black Panther Wakanda Forever is in theaters and IMAX November 11th. Zed and Marin Morris perform for us after the break. Stick around, everybody. Come on, man.